absolutely nothing. So I literally quit going to school. I was stabbed in the back. I had my eyes punched to the point where they were patched and I went to the emergency room. I almost lost my eyesight. I could have choked to death. And all this happened in the school system in my city. So I just quit going. My mother would threaten me. She would call me every name in the book when she got mad. I still didn't go. In 1976, I probably went two days out of the whole 181 days. Why would I go? I was getting abused by everybody. In fact, there was a song in the 70s and early 80s. I can't remember when. But it was by Kenny Rogers, The Coward of the County. I was worse than The Coward of the County. You might say, well, Al, why didn't you just fight back? As I've told you in previous videos, I have a medical problem. Up until I was about 12 and a half, maybe 13, I was told that if I got into a fight and I was hit in certain areas of my body, I could be killed. So I could never fight back. And I got, you want to talk about bullied and abused, man, you don't even know. It was that bad. But, let me tell you, what made things so bad in 76 was this. First, I witnessed my dad die. Then, the city took me to juvenile court. The court system decided to take me away from my mother and put me in a home. Because I was, quote unquote, being BS. But, here's the kicker. They put me into a home, and then this was a what they call a intermediate. So then they decided to take me out 300 miles away from my family. But in the interim, they took me 30 miles away from my family. Now, when they did that, they didn't let me talk to my family for three weeks. No talking, no letters. No, nothing. It was as if my family didn't exist. Now, keep in mind, during this time, I'm still trying to cope with the fact I just witnessed my father dying. Okay? Yeah, there's still a little bit of anger there. I'm not too pleased with the school system in my home city. In fact, on a scale from 1 to 10, I give it a 10 in terms of failure. But, okay, so we have me witnessing my father's death, right? being torn away from my family, right? Well then, later in 1976, my aunt died, right? My, my aunt's, basically my dad's sister died. So now we have two deaths, so let's add this up. I, I swear to you, it almost feels like the reverse of a pot a pod tree and a pear tree for the Christmas. We have one, I witnessed the death, Two, I'm pulled away from my family. Three, my aunt dies. Well, then guess what happens? Then, about a couple more months later, maybe a month later, my other aunt, which was my uncle's wife. So that's three deaths, okay? Now, on top of all that, time goes into 1977. Well, then... They take me 300 miles away. That's when they finally did it. 300 miles away. And the day they did it, one of my favorite singers actually had just died the day before. 